break dust tax. Now I know you're joking saying that, but it is coming. So three or four years ago, I made videos saying that we were gonna start getting taxed pretty soon. Once all these electric cars come out, I said, uh, once there's enough of them on the road, we will start getting taxed for, for them, which is gonna happen. Um, ULES zones in England, London, they're all gonna start get charging the electric cars. Now, funnily enough, it's already starting to come into force. They're already got plans for it. Euro 7 is going to come out and Euro 7 is going to focus on brake dust and tyre particle uh, dust basically and a lot of the EVs that are on the road right now are not going to be compliant with that so there you go you can already see the charges coming they're already making plans for it like so um, brake dust tyre dust is going to be counted as particle matters how much brake dust and how much tyre particles your car is going to emit over however over per kilometre and the of course EVs are probably twice as heavy as a normal car so in reality that's going to make more uh, tyre dust brake dust and the way that you might get around that is by yeah buying a Euro 7 compliant car which again even if you're not going to be paying the tax, you are paying it. Because even if you're driving into London and you're not paying the ULEZ charge because you've got a, a, a Euro 7 car, you think you're not paying it, but you are. Because you're going to now have to buy Euro 7 compliant tyres, Euro 7 compliant brake pads, which are going to cost twice as much as your normal tyre. So, whichever way you look at it, you're going to be paying for it. And your Euro 7 car is going to need to be less than 60 grams of NOx per kilometre. And you know what that means? Most of your Euro 6 cars are not going to be compliant. And what else is going to happen? Your EVs that are out now, they'll have to be tested for the efficiency of the batteries. If your battery is below a certain efficiency, I don't know if that's 50% or 60% or whatever it's going to be. If the efficiency of that battery is below that, it will fail your, your your test and you'll have to replace the battery. So basically that means if you're having to recharge your car after a 120 mile journey when it should be capable of doing 200, that car is considered now to be uh, pollutant because you're having to charge it twice as much and you're using energy to charge it. So not only is your car gonna have to be Euro 7 compliant, but it's gonna basically have to have some sort of MOT check where they're going to be checking the efficiency of the engine or efficiency of the battery to make sure the car is in optimum condition so you're not polluting or whatever the, the, the uh, wanna, word they want to use for it. So what does that mean? That means you're going to have to maintain your car a lot more than you'd normally ha would want to. Um, so it's probably a good thing in a way for used car buyers so if you know you're going to buy an EV in the future um, you know that that car will should have been checked one of my other conspiracy theories I made it's a shame I haven't got to post anymore but I posted it on Facebook over 10 years ago um, but that Facebook account got banned and I made a theory that in the future I could imagine that all cars will be sort of electronically controlled to like some sort of Wi-Fi system where say you're on the motorway and it's 70 miles an hour limit your car will not allow you to go over that uh, or you're in a 30 mile an hour zone for instance or whatever or you're in a as a, a time restricted zone say this zone can only be driven down here during nine to five hours um, and after those hours your car will probably not allow you to do that and I got called all sorts of people were just making a laugh also or so all sorts about what I was saying that might happen I that I think is is inevitably gonna happen in the future and uh, I'm pretty sure I heard something recently now somewhere I'd have to look but I've, I'm pretty sure I heard something recently where that is already coming into place as well